So this might be a really stupid idea, but it also could be one of the best ideas I've had yet. I'm right now in a beautiful coding retreat, which means I'm in the middle of nowhere in a wonderful cabin, and my only focus for the next week should be on one single project. And what is that project? It's just a voice journaling app. You speak your mind into your phone, the app understands it, transcribes it, and then creates a diary of entries for you from your voice notes. And that's pretty much it, which is also why I don't really have an idea why I waffle on here for so fuck. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to figure out how do I transcribe my voice messages best to text. And the model I'm going to try out first here is just the OpenAI Whisper model. So let's look at the transcript. Wow, okay. So I think the only mistake I'm seeing right now is this, and I'm not having to be very sensical. I don't know if I, s <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever used the word sensical in my life. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit to see whether this works and I'm not having to be very sensical, but I guess. All right, so it's been basically 24 hours since I arrived here at this at this cabin and I don't really have much to show for it yet in terms of like the, the stuff that was actually coded up because everything so far has been planning and prototyping, right? I checked out that the idea that I have can actually work um, and then I dr started drawing up the perfect app or the app that I have in my head that if I deliver that at the end of the week, I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be so fucking happy, honestly. So what do I have to build? The most important thing actually on the home screen is the big fat recording button right at the bottom to start the voice recordings. And those voice recordings then get stored, summarized, given a mood score. And the most important thing for me is that you can go through them through a calendar screen where you can go either by date or by search term. On top of that, I wanted a tool through which you can generally track in what kind of mental state you've been over the last few months. So I wanted some kind of graph to showcase your mood over time. And then another thing that I thought would be really cool is if we can build up a profile of you. And when I say a profile, I'm not really meaning like a user profile. I'm more meaning something that you can use to reflect over like what topics you put the most energy in thinking about and maybe which topics you should be spending less or wasting less energy on. And then there's a bit of general maintenance stuff any app needs, like a setting screens, privacy policy, login screens, onboarding, yada, yada, yada. And just to say this, right? I mean, yes, I don't have much to show for it now, but it's okay as long as the plan that I made here was the right plan, as long as this plan works out. Because from now on, I just have to code it up. I just have to get it done. And honestly, at this point, I was just eager to finally get started with coding. The only problem was that the technologies that I've chosen with Superbase and Flutter, I have very little experience with. Everything that I drew up was good in theory, but I have no idea whether it would actually work in practice. The first setup, however, went pretty well, so that by the end of the day, I had an endpoint that I could send audio files to for transcription and summarization. On the beginning of day three, I had a working backend, meaning the main thing I wanted to do was now to finally set up the app itself and then being able to record and send a voice message from my phone to my backend. And it all seemed to go pretty well until I had one little problem. But right now, I think the only thing left to do is actually figure out like the codec, like how do I, you know, what kind of file am I receiving from, oh, I'm sending from here to here, just formatting it the right way. As soon as I get that, I think the rest of it will fall into place. Yeah, except that this bug was not easy to fix at all, meaning a few hours later, without a solution in sight, I was sitting outside trying to make sense of it all. So let me try to guide you through it. Yeah, so if I could just ask a couple of questions, because you seem to be talking for a long time without really saying anything relevant, and that must be a pain in editing, but there are obviously creative ways around it. Well, first of all, why are you sitting outside right now and not working on your app? Yeah, I'm taking a break because this is <laughs> this is really frustrating, but the views are nice. So that's what I'm... I'm just going to chill for a second. Yeah, so what exactly is the problem right now? What I'm not getting around is that this doesn't save the file properly. Like, all the files that I'm saving are corrupted, which means 
none of this could have worked. Um, and I tried so many different things with Superbase and with my API and all of that. Well, have you at least figured out why your code is not working? I think. I'm pretty sure now. All right. So what is it? That the problem for the last two or three hours where I was completely stuck was just that the library that I'm using is just not working anymore. And it has been, I, I saw now the last time it has been published was 21 months ago. Now, having figured out that it's not actually your code that's the problem, but instead some library that broke, how does it make you feel emotionally? So I worked, uh, I worked um, three hours on it, got really frustrated with it, and then figured out like there's, there was nothing I could have, <laughs> nothing I could have done. All right. So what's happening now? And also, please tell me about your sleep schedule. Oh, I sit here for another 10 minutes and then and then we go again. Like, I, I'm not going to go. I wanted to go to bed early today, but I'm not going to go to bed today before I have all of this properly working. We're not we're not going to go to bed before a proper demo. So I ended up just switching libraries, which meant replacing a lot of the code that I already wrote, but it didn't actually take too long until... Again. <gasps> it worked, Emmy. So you see here, you see here that it says, okay, so let's try this one more time. So I'm going to do another recording and this time it should return the full path, which then means I can also grab the full file. That is absolutely amazing because now it works. It works. The core functionality works, meaning that I can now send audio messages to the backend, get them transcribed, summarized, and stored. I have to also say that when this first worked earlier, when also the cam camera was running, luckily, um, I was honestly so proud. Like, I haven't spent three proper days on one project in ages, I would say, and the amount of things you can actually do in that time is is really like really cool to see when compared to like the other projects on the channel where you do very short things which are cool as well but like you're not super proud of them and this here i hope and i think i should get it done i still have thursday friday saturday whole day so i have i'm basically at half time not even yet um if this continues like this i should have a really really cool app at the end that i will for sure use all the time Day four was my favorite. It was just building out the user interface without worrying about the functionality yet. So just going screen by screen. So today is going to be a really important day because... Yeah, let me stop you right there because I don't know about you, but I feel like I look so fucked up in this shot. It's as if instead of having like a glass of wine, I had three bottles the night before and then slept like three hours. So instead of looking at that, let me just talk you through it because this was the big day. I wanted to add all the functionality to the user interface, displaying the journal entries, all other data on the screen. I created an app logo. I created the login functionality. So my MVP was slowly coming together and here I am testing out whether I can get different journal entries for my different users. Yeah, so I have in this one here. Okay, so with this account, I have like six entries of voice messages or like journal entries. And then if I go and log out, that works. And now let's log in with the social account. Get in with this. And there I have zero entries. <laughs> I mean, who the fuck celebrates like that? Anyway, now the only thing left to do is actually display that data on the screen. If I now click on login, the best case scenario is that at first we don't see any entries and then they appear. Okay. Okay. Look, we talked about this. That works. <laughs> Let's just move on. 
the rest of the day was spent doing exactly the same for all the different screens, making all the data from my backend appear, meaning that in the evening, I could finally do the first demo of the core functionality of the app. Okay, 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 I think, so this one, this demo right now is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Like if this all works, how it just did in the simulator, I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't have the words. So let's, let's see. Now let's try the social login because that is obviously completely new. That looks good. That looks great, except that you saw the entries from before, but I don't think that matters too much. Wow. Okay. So the social login done, but now the thing that I'm most excited about is actually making the voice recording, right? So now while I'm talking, I don't know, I'm going to say, all right. So you see now I'm actually coming to this page and you see the data is being filled in one after the other. There we go. There we go. Everything is there. You see that here, the title, I'm obviously in a good mood. We have a summary of what I was saying and then also the transcription. Plus you can copy that stuff, put it somewhere else, wherever you want to. And now you see me as being logged in. I have this one entry right here. The core functionality of this is working, which is incredible. Like the remaining things here seem small because the main thing of the whole app is working. So that's it for me today. That's it. I fucking love this. I love this so much. That was a bit weird. It was the start of the last day and I felt amazing. The core functionality was working and now I just needed to add the remaining features, which was mainly the mood chart and creating the user profile. And then there was a tiny feature which suddenly cost me half the day. So <laughs> I just got stuck for three hours on a feature that I thought would take 30 minutes, which is this little button right here, which basically just says, you know, whenever you click on it, you can listen to whatever you said back then. And honestly, I don't think that feature is even going to be used that much, but I thought it was cool because you can go back months and then just listen to, you know, how you were sounding that day and stuff like that, which is cool. But again, probably not the core feature. But then the actual problem is, in this case here, the Flutter packages. And the problem is that you have Flutter that is not native, right? Communicating to Android and iOS. And something in the platform of iOS seems to have changed. And the packages haven't updated that. The first package failed. I obviously think it's my fault, right? So I keep rewriting the code, even though it's exactly how it is in documentation. And then at some point I'm like, okay, is this maybe the package? Because then also Googling, some other people seem to have the same problem. I go to the second package, I get exactly the same error again. And then the third package does it. So again, I think, yeah, this is one of the problems obviously with, with using something that's non-native, right? It has to connect to those platforms. If something that changes, a lot of stuff breaks. But it was really frustrating just now because I just didn't foresee any of this happening on the last day. So this is the final demo. It's Saturday evening, 10 to 8. I'm done. Um, I'm going to show you where I ended up at. Um, and also the goal here is that by the time that this video drops, the app will actually already be on the App Store or at least submit it for being... No, no, fuck it. <laughs> on the App Store. So... What would it look like if you were just starting out with this app? Well, you would make a voice recording, right? So I could say now like, I still haven't fixed that, fixed that circular progress indicator, that, that thing that turns and tells me it's loading, but you see how fast this is, right? So the transcription is already coming in. Now the summary, now the title and my mood, which might be, <laughs> which might be a little bit too high here with a nine, because I'm a little bit annoyed today um, and a few things that, you know, I got stuck on. But so this is this. Also, when I now play this back, I'm a bit scared of this one. There we go. Today has been a wonderful day. 
Uh, that works. You can copy this stuff and then uh, send it to friends or whatever. Here you go. There's the user feedback still missing, but all of that is working. Also, if you go back, you see now that I see it over my last days. And also you can see that the mood chart here immediately updates and says now, okay, we only have one entry available from the 24th of February. So I'm gonna to try to change that. I'm going to basically simulate as if I was doing more and more voice recordings. So let me just send this recording here. Actually, let me send from, yeah, from Monday. Okay, there we go. Now that I send it on my phone, you see exactly at the same time already coming in a new recording. Like this is instantaneous, which is amazing. And this takes a little bit longer because I think that recording was a bit longer. When we click on it, we see it filled out though. Um, the summary comes in a little bit later and we can also listen to it, you know, when we play it back. And I'm gonna do the same thing now for a few other recordings that I took throughout the week. So I just updated all of those and the mood ch the, uh, chart changes here. And now the cool thing is, if we go onto last day's view all, we see here that where we made all those entries. And I can actually click on one of those days and it immediately tells me, okay, this is the memory from the 22nd of February. Here on the 19th, we had two. All of that, I actually haven't seen that. Like, I mean, obviously I haven't seen it on the simulator. I haven't used it like this before. I find it super cool because you can immediately go back. I mean, if you had this from longer ago, and see all those entries there as well. That is really nice. And then, we're not done here. If I click on search entries, and I say, I'm looking for, there was something with developer, right? So I'm looking for developer, boom, it shows me that. I mean, basically the whole app works really well. The additional screen that I haven't shown you yet is the mood screen, which is more like the profile screen. You see it's a wall of text, so on here, you can sort of see like what the AI thinks, what kind of person you are based on your journal entries. And then the last thing here, we do have the settings page and still there's a lot of work to be done, right? The notifications, for example, <laughs> they move together at the moment. Uh, they haven't been implemented. I can obviously log out, um, but more importantly, I can also delete all the data that I put in here and I can also delete the whole account. If you think about it, where we started, this is crazy. This was one week. But in the first day, I didn't write any code, basically. I just planned out what I wanted to build. And this was actually the surprising thing to me. Like, the infrastructure of this whole thing worked out incredibly well, even though I didn't know about Superbase too much. But the way I imagined it actually turned out exactly how it is now working. The things that I didn't anticipate were more like how much I was struggling sometimes with different Flutter packages, right? And, I mean, this app, has a lot of screens, has a lot of functionality, and it all works, which is which is really cool. And more importantly, I finally managed to get it onto the App Store. It's completely free. The first week is a completely free trial. And the most important thing for me is I just wanna keep building on top of it. I use the app every day, and I wanna have other people's feedback. So please let me know what you think about it. Also like, subscribe, and so on. There's gonna be a lot more projects like this on this channel.